Hey there guys, my name is Joe from the Homestead Armix YouTube channel where I do a variety of different projects and today is no different. I'm going to be building an off-road go-kart with Forney Industries. We're going to be using some basic square tubing as our general uh, stock that we're using. So I'm going to get all the parts and pieces cut to the specifications that we have on the plans that we got. We'll weld them together, make sure everything's square and straight, and then we'll get on to the next step. So one of the big pieces of this project is making sure that I keep everything organized. So I'm just marking each individual piece so that I can be able to find it on the plans when I'm getting ready to assemble it. And as you can see, some of these are smaller than the rest. But now I know where all these pieces go in the plans. Okay, so at this point I've got all my parts and pieces cut and I've just laid them out here in kind of like a grid format so that I can easily find the pieces I'm looking for. Now I'm going to start laying out the subframe and the mainframe from the ground level. I'll start with the flat pieces and then we're going to build on up. So right now I am just finishing a dry layout of the base of the main frame. This is where the seats are going to go. And I'm just checking to make sure all of my angles are good and I made all my cuts correctly. And now I am going to tack everything together. So at this point in the build, I'm getting ready to start on the rear subframe, and this is gonna be the portion that's gonna hold the rear axle of the go-kart. This piece is, or this section is already completely assembled. It's got the bracket that will hold the axle. And this one, I am just test fitting or dry fitting all the pieces to make sure everything's good before I tack it together. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'll tack it together and then we'll finish out with full welds. So right now I'm working on the rear uh, subframe assembly. This is, uh, you'll remember, this is where the axle is going to go between those brackets. And I'm just test fitting everything and making sure my angles are good. And so far it's looking like it's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and tack this together. And then you'll see me in just a bit add these middle supports and a motor mount plate. So right now I've got both my front base frame and my rear base frame laid out just so I can get the orientation of where some of the uprights are going to go. And now I'm going to start tacking into place my lower uprights, which are these three inch pieces, onto some rear uprights. And then this will complete what will be the, uh, the top portion of the front frame assembly. This section right here is going to be the back portion of where the back of the seats are going to sit. And I'm just laying it out flat on the ground, making sure all my angles are good. We'll tack it into place here, set it up here, attach it, and then we can attach our long side rails. section of the build I'm going to be working on making the front suspension arms and basically they're going to act in unison so each side is going to have two arms just like this this one's already complete and they will pivot in unison and hold one of the front tires this section I have laid out and it will eventually get 
a U bracket that will hold one side of the front shocks and then I'm going to weld this nut onto the end of it and that will be what the front tire is attached to and you'll see that a little bit later. So right now I'm going to tack everything together and I have all of my dry fit pieces laying on top of my fully assembled piece and I'm just making sure that the back end and the front end are exactly the same length and all of the arms are in the same profile. That way I make sure everything mates up really nicely once I add the shocks. Okay, so at this point we had the frame almost complete. Now I'm going to work on the front suspension block and this is basically going to be in two separate parts and then they will mate up here in the front. This one I've already tacked together and that's just going to be my template and then I'm going to use that to assemble the other side. And once this is done and attached to there, this is what the front suspension arms are going to pivot off of. Right now you can see the frame is almost completely finished. The top arms are installed and it's really starting to look like a go-kart. Now I'm going to install these uh, cross members or supports on the sides and then the dashboard or where the steering column will eventually mount to will come uh, right across here. Okay, so at this point, the go-kart frame is pretty much completely assembled as the plans have shown it. Um, you've noticed that I've done mostly tack welds for this upper portion. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and finish all of those out with full welds. I'll do a little bit of grinding, and then it's going to be pretty much ready for paint. I may add a basket on the end, but as for this point, it is pretty much complete as the plans have shown it.
So that's pretty much it. This was a super fun project to work on and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. If you decide to give something like this a try, just remember you can make it as simple or as complex as you want and you can make all the modifications in between as you see fit. Um, I would recommend starting out with plans as I did and then making modifications as you go along as I did with the steering and the baskets on the top and rear. But uh, it is a fun project. Just remember, take it one step at a time, and each individual component isn't as complex as maybe it might look in the beginning. So I thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.